I grew up on a farm and my father was always looking at, even my grandfather, my grandfather had, you know, one of the first tractors on, on the farm. My father, very uh, progressive farmer. The whole idea started out when I was a consultant, being a pilot to see what you know what you can see from out there. Now to digitalize that, that's how it started out. Like everything that I was doing, I was trying to do in a, in a precision. Like what what's precision agriculture, right? What is precision farming is is really perceived in different ways. But to me, as a general, precision farming is whatever we do. We keep records of, and we do it as precisely as possible. I want to collect as much information from various sources and bring that together to make the best uh, informed decision afterwards. First of all, we look at, well, we try to help, what is that tool actually co uh, collecting? In other words, what does that information mean? To us, that's the first step because we have many uh, precision tools out there and they all mean a little bit something different. With the UAV, there's so many different cameras. Choosing the right camera and, and the right UAV at the first place. We sell uh, clock copters as well as fixed rings. But, but each of those tools, even so they're both UAVs, are different tools because the, the quad copter is more of an inspection tool, which means because it can hover, but it doesn't have a long flight time. Are you a pilot? And if you're not, you know, it has to be simple and very user friendly. And that's where the EB shines. Our training um, has two aspects and, and the reason why I'm so adamant that, that people should get trained and know what the air law is because I do have the private license. So the aspect from you're sharing the airspace with meant traffic. So you have to understand the air law but the second part is we also train on the EV itself on how to fly the EV safely. The reason why we're doing that and, and it's part of, of when we sell a unit right away because we know that makes the user more knowledgeable and gets more out of the unit, out of the, the EV right from day one compared to when he has to first learn how to fly this and how this, how this is used. I'm an agrologist. Brian Hall is with us. He's a CCA. You know, we have five people in this organization out there now being able to do support, but they come from the industry. So none of us are salespeople. But we come from the industry to try to help our clients to understand what we learned with all those tools and what the limitations are and what, what the, you know, their advantages are. So at the end of the day, we're done at the same, you know, we understand where they come from. It's not like we're trying to sell you something that we don't understand how it's used.